about this uh, guitar. This is a Rickenbacker that I bought way back in the first week of 1969. Uh, in the previous year, 68, my band and I, Cretans, of course, had had a big hit record called Suzy Q. And, uh, after waiting our whole lives and working on music and all that, and finally found our, after all that, found ourselves in that un, unenviable position of being a one-hit wonder. <laughs> and I was really scared about that. Uh, Suzy Q was kind of a novelty thing, you know, just like purple people in here or something. <laughs> I decided I really wanted to, you know, get ready to have a big musical career that might last longer than two weeks. So I did a bunch of modifications on this guitar. The main thing was I put a humbucking pickup from a Gibson guitar right here in the bridge position. Uh, because I heard about these guys over in England, you know, Eric, Jimmy, and Jeff, and they were plugging in Les Paul guitars to a Marshall amp and making the coolest rock and roll sound ever, and I wanted to be like them guys. So I put that special pickup in my guitar. That was about a decade before Eddie Van Halen did the same thing on his guitar. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, what the heck? I played this guitar at Woodstock! Yeah! I mean, who knew, you know? I went up there just to do a, a gig and maybe run into Jimi Hendrix. Didn't work out that way, but anyway, after seeing all that craziness up there at Woodstock, I came home and wrote this song on this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> 